What's up? This is a quick low quality video for you because I'm lazy and I don't want to get my camera. I'm going to teach you today how to fix this sound right here. Makes me cry every time. I've got a lot of students and friends with that problem and I've heard so many times, man, I don't want to take this in to go get new pots. Like this sounds terrible. And I'm not talking about pot, I'm talking about potentiometers. Call them pots for short because it's easy. But it's easy to fix. All you need is a screwdriver. I'm gonna use the Lectric kind because it's Lectric. A string changer thing in a can of Deoxit F5 fader lubricant. You definitely wanna make sure you're not just using regular contact cleaner because there is lubricant inside of these pots that if you totally strip it out using contact cleaner, you're getting a lot of metal on metal contact or something, or I don't know. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but this is what you're supposed to use and it definitely works way better than anything else. So here we go. The only reason I have to use this at all is because I've got a Strat style guitar that's giving me the problems today. And the only way to access these, oh my gosh, these potentiometers is by taking the strings either off or just loosening them. I just replaced the strings on this in like March, uh, maybe not March, May, maybe not May, June. I don't know when I changed these strings last. What year is it? I have that written down on a note in my phone. So I'm just gonna loosen them all the way and uh, do it like that. Sorry if I'm kind of shouty today. I've been off of coffee for like a year because of some stomach issues and now I'm back on it. Do you like my mug? I've got the strings loose. I've got my electric screwdriver and I'm going to loosen all of these screws around my pick guard. The thing with this guitar too is it's relic, so all of my screws are super rusty. That's not gonna focus. There's no way that's gonna focus. And I kind of wonder like when they relic the screws, like does that damage the metal in the screw or is it just cosmetic on the outside? So I've got all of these screws done. I can lift this up a bit. And if you look closely, you can see next to these potentiometers, these little metal pieces in here, there is a little hole right where all of those connections are soldered on the inside in there. And that little hole is exactly where you wanna spray your contact cleaner in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Then I'm gonna twist it around a whole bunch, and then I'm going to plug it in and try it out, see what happens. But anyways, I just wanna do this without spraying it all over my leg. That would be awesome. Okay, spray it in there, and you just work that guy. I like to move the guitar around while I twist the knob back and forth so that I can make sure that that contact cleaner uses gravity to fall in all the right little nooks and crannies. I'm actually gonna give it another spray while that I, since I have it open, while I have it open, whatever. Uh, because this is such a pain to do, especially when you have put on new strings recently. It's actually probably a good idea to just do it whenever um, just because, and I think my volume knob is also crackling just a hair. Not nearly as bad as that tone knob was though. So I'm just, I'm gonna do both these other ones as well. And this stuff is safe for plastics. It's safe for metal, it's safe for electronics. That's the idea is you don't want to spray something in there that's gonna melt all of your stuff. Not a good idea. I'm gonna move these around again, kind of like I did before, just back and forth really hoping this works. I'm probably gonna do one more spray in the volume and other tone knob. Did I do a second spray in the first tone knob? I do not remember. I'm gonna do another spray in the first tone knob. You get a spray. You get a spray. Everybody get a spray. <laughs> that was not very much at all. Let's try one more little one like that. You don't wanna overdo it. You just want enough in there that will make it happy. Work it around in there. Double fisting now. Gotta get this done quick. And you're supposed to let it rest for two minutes before doing anything. This actually feels a lot better too. It was, it was a little gummy before. It's actually still a little gummy. I wanna test it so bad before I screw it all back together. So that's what I'm gonna do actually, is I'm just gonna chill for a while, watch some videos on YouTube or something while this is just, sitting here and whenever I am ready to test it out, I will and we'll see how it sounds. A few minutes later. All right, I've rested them for a moment. I'm gonna just leave the strings unplugged, plug it in. It's 
pretty clean. And this is the one that was staticking so bad. Like butter. But that's how you do it. That's how you fix them. You don't need new pots. You just need to buy a $15 or $12 or whatever, however much this deoxid fader lube is. I'll leave a link down in the description below to an Amazon thing for it. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something useful. See you next time. Take care.